what happened. On this day, June 9, 1978, San Jose was home to the first national lowrider car show. Co-sponsored by Lowrider Magazine. Featuring lowriders from up and down California, even as far as Arizona. A car hopping championship. And for the first time anywhere, measured by laser beam for accuracy. A nighttime disco featuring L.A. dancers and music by DJ Jimmy, the memory maker of Disco East. Judging, awards, and an eight-foot trophy, mariachis, disco hairstyling exhibit, lowrider bikes, and much more. All of this to bring everyone together around the lowriding lifestyle. So that was a three-day show. It brought people from all over the place. I remember meeting people from everywhere there. Yeah, Lowrider Magazine was coming up as we were cruising the story in King, and they would talk to us. One of the founders of Lowrider Magazine, he was from San Jose State. So they'd bring flyers to us and try to talk us into going. And I was asked by Sonny to do a Lowrider poster for the Lowrider car show, the first Lowrider car show. And this was just a flyer that they wanted to run around town and hang, you know, pass out and, and put up posters everywhere. And so this was a promotional poster to, for the event. But again, I created another collage. I had the car and I had this depth of, of the fairgrounds. Everybody could relate to it. Yeah, that's my fairground. It was one of the very first shows of that, that level in Northern California. Now remember, LA was having big shows back then. And Lowrider Magazine had just, was an embryo, just coming out. So this was a Lowrider Magazine first ever show in the Bay Area. Everybody was buzzing about it, and there was no social media at the time. So everything was word of mouth. Everybody knew about it. It was like the biggest thing in Northern California. They had an open, day on Friday where we come in, I'm gonna say it was probably from noon till four o'clock and you could just show up. And I was fortunate enough that I got off work early, was able to get there in the afternoon and bring the car and get all set up. And then uh, they opened up at night to a small crowd. Then Saturday it was a large crowd. And then Sunday it was of course packed with them with the awards and everything. This, this was strictly low riders. The other car shows, they had large car shows. Some of them weren't professional, you just show up for the day. And others were hot rods, boats, cars, motorcycles. And this was strictly low riders. And the ones they invited into were all the upper end type cars. From Southern California, there were a few clubs. And there may have even been some of the Imperials there, I'm not sure. Uh, I know the Dukes were there, some of the older cars to fill in. So it, it was a large show. And it, show, it showed San Jose area what Southern California cars were like. I said, you, you know, you know, Sonny paid for the Dukes to come up. My brother was in the car club and they paid to bring their cars on transports because Sonny wanted those cars here in Northern California because nobody was doing that. You know, nobody was getting the cars here from outside of the, of whatever you see on cruise nights in San Jose. I'd been to the Grand Nationals up at the Cow Palace at the time. They'd moved from Oakland to the Cow Palace and competing with guys that had hot rods and other things. There was a uneasy feeling with them and low riders. Um, it was rather refreshing going to the low rider show. Because the, the element is completely different and, and you're not uneasy about it. There, there, there were no racial tones or anything as going to the, San, uh, the Grand Nationals where you got them from other people. They invited me to come because I was DJing at Disco East. In fact, there's a write-up in there. We hooked up a big mirror wall light and everything, and I said, Disco comes to the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds and we put an explosion effect. And I busted out Rick James, you and I, and people were like, yelling out of And the Caprice I bought brand new. I was working at Courtesy Chevrolet at the time. So I took it, it was black with black interior, hit all the hydraulics on it. The cylinders were put in, in the rear upside down in the front, ran the hose through the frame and into the trunk. And then I used a single pump with two Adel dumps on it and then just two batteries. So it was a one pump. I won best hydraulics on that for not being able to see anything. And then the rest is history. 45 years later, San Jose remains a significant cornerstone and pioneer in the lowrider movement. For more information, check out lowriderfever.com.